today we are going to learn the accounting ratios uh, first of all let's see what are accounting ratios now all of you know what are ratios now when we say accounting ratios this is the ratios which are calculated on the basis of your accounting information so whatever information you have in your trading profit and loss account or your balance sheet uh, if i'm going to compute some ratios based on those information it is called the accounting ratios these accounting ratios basically the main purpose of these accounting ratios is they help us to analyze the financial position of the company they are helpful to the creditors to the institutions which are giving loans to the companies uh, as they can find out the actual position of the company whether it is related to the um, operating efficiency or the earning capacity or uh, the financial soundness of the company whether the companies are able to meet their liabilities promptly or not what is their gross profit ratio how the company is performing in terms of their sales so all these information can be gathered from the accounting ratios so this accounting ratios basically helps to do a comparative analysis also between two firms or between different periods of the same firm so if i want to compare uh, the performance of the company uh, five years back and this year i can do so with the help of the accounting ratios that we had prepared uh, for both the periods right same way if i want to compare two companies then also these financial ratios can be helpful so instead of looking at each and every figure in the balance sheet we can just have a look at the financial accounting ratios and try to figure out the position of the company right now let's see uh, what are liquidity ratios in liquidity ratios we'll be doing two ratios the current ratio and the quick ratio first let's take up the current ratio the current ratio is basically to assess the short term financial position of the company uh so here the current ratio is a relationship between the current assets and the current liabilities of a company the ideal current ratio which i have written here this should be 2 is to 1 that means that the number of uh, times the current assets are in excess of the current liability that means if you have uh, two current assets then you should have one current liability so that is the ratio of 2 is to 1 which i have put here this 2 is to 1 ratio which we have put here this is the acceptable ratio for the current ratio right so if you have a low ratio it indicates that the firm will not be able to meet its liability on time because the assets are not sufficient to meet the liability fine so current ratio basically is a relationship between the current assets of the firm and the current liabilities of the firm is that right okay now let's see what are the current assets and what are the current liabilities so you should first of all know what items have to come in the current assets and what items have to come in the current liabilities right so let's first look at that i'll put down the current assets uh, the items which have to come in the current assets i'll just put it down when we say current assets the first thing is the cash in hand and the cash at bank then you have the stock so i'll put it like this cash in hand and at bank the stock the debtors bills receivable marketable securities prepaid expenses 
एडवांस पेमेंट्स इनकम विच इज आउटस्टैंडिंग but not received okay on the current liability side you have the creditors bills payable bank overdraft short term loans only the short term loans will come outstanding expenses provision for taxation and any income that is received in advance so this list you should always keep in mind though you people have done uh, current assets current liabilities in class 11th again a recap of that right uh, so current assets will include all these items and current liabilities will be uh, the items which i have mentioned over here okay in case of uh, sundry debtors which i have written here the sundry debtors it will be after deducting the provision on debtors after deducting the provision on debtors if any right okay okay now let's take up um, an example on current ratio okay now i'll write down a question here for computing the current ratio from the following you have to calculate the current ratio right okay now this is a balance sheet i put a liability side of the balance sheet is like this the share capital is sixty three thousand. The reserves is four thousand five hundred. Annual profits is seven thousand five hundred. Bank overdraft is six thousand. and sundry creditors is 18000 okay on the asset side we have the following fixed assets is 51000 stock is given as 18800 sorry 600 debtors is suppose 9600 and cash is 19800 so that is the balance sheet which we have and here the balance sheet total on both the sides it is 99000 so this is the question from this we have to compute the current ratio of the firm okay now let's start the solution for this now first of all you have to calculate the current assets so take up the current assets side now here current assets obviously will not include the fixed assets so that has to be excluded so here i write current assets will be equal to stock plus debtors Plus cash. Only these three items will come. 
So, this will be equal to 18,600 plus 9,600 plus 19,800, right. So, if you add up all these 3, it will come to 18,600 plus 9,600 plus 19,800 comes to 48,000, okay. Now, here let us look at current liabilities. Now, here in current liabilities, share capital will not come, reserves will not come, annual profits will not come. It will be sundry creditors plus bank overdraft, ok. So, sundry creditors is 18,000 plus bank overdraft is 6,000. So, this comes to 24,000. So, now you have current assets as 48,000 and current liabilities as 24,000. So, here current assets is 48,000, current liabilities is equal to 24,000. So, your current ratio will be equal to current assets divided by current liabilities. So, that will be equal to 48,000 divided by 24,000 which will be equal to 2 is to 1. So, the current ratio of the firm is 2 is to 1. Uh, in in uh, some of the questions, you will be asked to comment on the current ratio. So, comments on the current ratio, right. If you are asked to give your comments on the current ratio or any other ratio, you have to first of all know the ideal ratio. Now, in this case, as I said, the ideal or the acceptable current ratio is 2 is to 1 and as far as this answer here comes, here we have 2 is to 1. So, that means, since the current ratio is 2 is to 1, that means, the current assets are twice the current liabilities. So, the position of the company is financially sound in the short run. So, this current ratio is only for the short run, right. So, we are basically assessing only the short term assets and uh, I mean current assets and the current liabilities and not the long term liabilities, right. So, this is how we will do a question on the current ratio. So, you should remember the formula of current ratio that is current assets divided by current liabilities and here you have the current assets and current liabilities and when you do the question here this current ratio is equal to current assets upon current liabilities this is the formula to be applied and the ratio to be found out. So, this way you can solve the questions on uh, current ratio and uh, with that I come to the end of the uh, topic on current ratio. Thank you.